against you, spoke against your family, and said it will never be good with you. Words and erasers. For some of us, before you need something to come upon you, you need something to be taken out of you. Open your mouth and pray. And say something must be erased from my destiny. Those negative dreams, bad luck. I love the Lord. I serve him with all my heart. Blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. He nailed it to the cross. social media platforms and a system was programmed that when you forget your password there are times that you want to access your mail or whatever page and for some reason you can forget your password there is a provision there it will ask you have you forgotten your password and then it will try to do one two three things and give you another opportunity to put a new password or remind you of the password you forgot. If in the physical recovery is possible, then how, how much more the realm of the spirit? Someone tonight is going to insist. You, it left you to a point that you are not even thinking of it again. And God is saying, no, Lazarus must come back home. You must find it again. Before I begin to pray, open your mouth. Whatever left me that should not leave me, you must return back. Opportunities, dimensions in the spirit. cooperate with me I want us to finish very fast and so tonight I may not really have time to prophesy and speak to people one by one because it would take time but I want you to please believe are we together words can bring things and words can carry things out of your life was it not because Jonah entered a boat innocent people on a voyage a man carried something, entered their boat, they lost properties, lost, they were about to lose their life. And they said, what is the cause of this? And Jonah said, I'm the one. The solution, he didn't say, counsel me, throw me out of that boat. There are things that you don't patch, you don't manage. 
they must be thrown out completely there are pronouncements you must carry them and say i saw you destroy my father my mother you are going out of my by the spirit of might in the name of jesus that you will do a quick walk in this place i pray oh god that within the next few minutes visit your people let it not just be a ritual but lord that you will visit them in the name of jesus christ you will visit them i'm going to count five just now don't do anything don't shout don't do anything once i count five i'm seeing a fire of deliverance we're going to start with it because people must be set free i truly believe in emancipation and the lord is giving me an instruction to just count five and then i begin to speak one two the things of the spirit are very strange i want you to bring them out three my god i sense such fire i'm already even seeing four get ready now five let that fire right now in the name of jesus everything in your life that must leave i declare right now by the power that is in the name of jesus the son of the living god by the fire of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ bring them out outside everywhere overflow one two three the roadside online i decree and i declare by the anointing of the holy ghost the word of god brings every evil from out of their hiding place i declare and i prophesy i send the word like a messenger of judgment into every family into every destiny and i declare that everything that needs to be judged will not escape the fire of god tonight therefore i declare judgment judgment upon the hand of the wicked in the mighty name of jesus christ judgment upon the wicked judgment upon the wicked hallelujah the spirit i'm taking charge over now are the forces responsible for closed doors listen over life if you have seen that you stand and a door refuses to open no matter what you do something is about to happen to you now lift your hands father i declare anyone here who is under the yoke of a spirit that causes closed doors shakatabata now you are ready to shout at the count of three in the name of jesus i judge that spirit one two three shout jesus i command those spirits i challenge those forces i send the word doors open ordinances that close doors let doors be open now over lives over destinies be open now outside be open inside be open in the name of jesus hallelujah the lord is showing me people and i'm seeing chains on their feet and i'm seeing literal fire like rising from the ground of this auditorium and i'm going to speak now when i speak those chains that i see you will be amazed at the testimonies that will rise from this month's miracle service lord jesus i declare anyone being tied down by any chain i declare right now let the fire of the it will be chains that are territorial it will be chains of wickedness i command a release right now in the name of jesus i command a release right now i command a release right now a release right now a release right now what i'm seeing now for a long time and then i think last miracle service or so i saw it again it's, it's a sign and wonder and i don't know why god does it i'm seeing a map before me now 
and I'm seeing Kogi State. Kogi State. You know what happens when God shows me this? That means people from that state, the power of God begins to touch them. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I declare the fire of God is going to that state. And I declare freedom right now. There are ordinances and yokes within that region. When you are from that region, the power of God meets you. I decree and declare now, in the name of Jesus Christ, complete freedom. Complete freedom. The power of God is still coming to this state. I decree and I declare, if there is anything that is not the planting of the Lord in any of those regions, I uproot it now by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Bring them out, please. Overflow one, lift your hands. I stretch my hands right now. I'm seeing a very strange fire. People will start running from overflow one. I'm, I've not prayed that prayer, but I'm seeing a grace for speed. This is the spirit of delay being broken. Overflow one, in the name of Jesus, I declare, may that grace come upon people right now. They will begin to run by the spirit. Run by the spirit. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for the sick shortly. But the Lord is asking me to stand here. I'm standing here and I'm seeing right here, just right here. I'm seeing there is something the angel of the Lord is doing right here. I decree and I prophesy right now in the name of Jesus. Let the yokes of darkness, the ordinances of witchcraft, let it be broken right now. Let it be broken right now. for sick people now but i'm seeing the lord is telling me he's taking away objects from people's bodies physical objects movements around the body that you feel movements around the body right now i declare anyone who has those experiences i stretch my hands now i stretch my hands now the lord is saying i should stand here in the name of jesus any movement in the name of Jesus, Sakato Barakata, and Kalakata, Rakata Bakatos, movements in the body. I cause it now in the name of Jesus. Everything that is not of God in anyone's body around here, I take it out of your body now. I take it out of your body now. Look at me, my dear, this lady. Lift your hands. I stretch my hands now. I saw fire coming on you. Right now, I declare that devil must let you go i release you now by the power of the holy ghost now be set free in the name of jesus all those in front i declare the count of three the spirits that manifested must let you go i speak as one sent from god at the count of three let them go one two three go 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 out of their lives and out of their destinies in the name of Jesus Christ how many people are trusting God for jobs you are trusting God for a job just keep your hands lifted I just saw something that looked like a parcel we are going to pray for the sick but I'm stretching my hands. Fire is leaving my hands. I'm seeing from the realm of the spirit. And it's come not everybody. But in the name of Jesus. Lord, those that are designed to receive miracle jobs through these impartations. Where are they, oh God? I send your anointing. 
Come, lift your hands. I'm looking at you. Where's your wife? Wife, come. Look at oh, what a wonderful wife. Again, her husband. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak and I prophesy to you here. Look at what is happening to them. I declare by the anointing of the Spirit, the month of November, two of you will come to testify here. The God of heaven is turning your lives around. One, finances. Two, I'm seeing you climbing ladders in the spirit. And I decree and declare over you. It must be so right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. If I start speaking one by one time. Sir, please come. This man. Come sir. God is about to change your life. Come. Where are you? Please stand up. Please stand up sir. Where are you coming from? from Sabongari, I want to pray for you. Where do you stay? Sir, I don't mean to scare you. Are we together now? I'm not a prophet of doom. But this you're coming here now has saved you from dying. You have been having dreams. You have been having dreams. Dreams. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Dead people. Yes, you see dead them. people in dreams. I have seen them. This is what I'm saying. If you did not come here, I saw that you were somewhere around PZ and a car just came. You're on a bike and that car just hit you and just killed you. That's how they left you on the ground there. But in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the spirit behind, why am I saying God is saving families from the spirit of death? I just saw like an arrow right now. Any family here that the any family I'm seeing like arrows of death I reverse them you will know because I'm praying for you I declare now now any family that the devil has found that there must be an obituary I command in the name of Jesus Christ freedom death leave the God's people in the name of Jesus God of wonders will do wonders in their lives. I agree with them very quickly. Please don't doubt what you are doing. Those who are standing, trust God to touch you. Trust God to return with a testimony. Who have come with all kinds of situations. Arise, O oh God, in your power. What wonders. In the name of Jesus, let your people return with testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Quickly, please. Please. Um, accept the people speak to you and I would, please let there be minimal um, personal speakings because we have to rush. As hands are laid on you, please believe. Don't say it's not apostle that is laying hands on me. It's a corporate grace that is working here. And for those of us who are seated, the worship team will be ministering, but don't just sit and just be looking I like you to believe because immediately after this I'll be doing the prophecy and the impartation and we'll be trusting God to turn things around if you have your prayer request while the service is going on whether you are here or just wave it and then there will be people PR protocol please join the people so that we we'll make it fast Lord we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you and as we worship in your presence there is he Holy Spirit, gentle touch is flowing. Jesus, I believe. 
very quickly. We'll pray one prayer point before you continue. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that every delayed promise, say it again that every delayed promise must manifest before the end of this month. Lift your voice and pray. Pray, pray, delayed promise. with a few weeks the doctors give plus or minus is that true and by the time it exceeds it becomes an issue of concern and then the doctors have a system where they can induce the woman or at least go through cs it doesn't matter how that blessing must arrive lord i declare it is time for me to walk in it lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray every prepared blessing that the prophetic word of God has made available. I step into it now. Jesus, I receive the grace to discern my miracle. Because you see, sometimes a miracle may not come in a way that you see it. Are we together now? Who would have known that it was the little jar in the house of the woman who was already owing that will save her? Sometimes your miracle is there. But God must open your eyes. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus. Lord, I receive discernment. Cause my eyes to be open. To see my miracle in this season. Lift your voice and pray. Cause my eyes to be open.
the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The last prayer point. I like you to declare. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, bring speed to my destiny. Let me tell you something. Except you are not living on planet earth. There are times that God will desire for certain things to happen in your life. But for whatever reason, those seasons can pass and you will not step into it. Now, God must give you speed to be able to catch up with what matches the pace of your life. Pray this prayer and you will watch God answer. Say in the name of Jesus. Lord, for my years of delay, I receive supernatural speed in every area of my life. Open your mouth and mention every area of your life. Lord, I would have gotten admission 10 years ago, but for some reason I was delayed. Give me speed. Give me speed. this is not a ritual this is not a formality there is an anointing there is a grace there is a covenant that makes for this request to be answered prayers paul said for this cause i paul bow my knees i bow my knees i bow my knees to the father of our lord jesus christ that he may grant unto you i bow my knees that he may grant unto you i bow my knees that he may grant unto you i bow my knees that he may grant unto you i bow my knees that he may grant unto you visit impossible situations oh god of heaven name of 
of Jesus Christ. Father, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. You have brought strange miracles to men and women by reason of this mystery. Father, I declare there are people here who have written things that only you can solve. Things that if we see with the eyes of men, it will even challenge our faith. My God, surprise everyone. Please agree with me. Surprise everyone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let every need represented here, whatever that need is, I agree right now in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Let every need here be turned into a miracle. Any human agent that has vowed that this request will not be answered, may the fire of judgment come upon them now. Remember, all blessings come from God through men to you. All blessings live from Satan through men away from you. All blessings come from God through men to you. All blessings live from Satan through men. So whether it's from God or from Satan, men play a role. I say it again in the name of Jesus. Everybody who the devil wants to use to play a negative role, to sabotage what God has answered, what he has done in your life, let the fire of judgment rest upon them now. Let me give you an instance. If God destines that you are the one who will lift your family out and be great, and Satan programs a man with a gun to kill you, you know what that man has done? He didn't just kill you. He stopped the word of God from coming to pass in your family. I'm saying it again. Any human agent, if you don't like it, just say amen to the one you believe. But any human agent that stands the way of prophecy over your life, may the word of God rest like fire upon them. When a man is supposed to give you a job and gets angry because something happened and packs all the employment letter and shelves it and they forget about it for the next two years. The guy to help Joseph came out and forgot him for two years. It was after two years by the mercy of God he said, I remember my wrong. So he acknowledged it was wrong. I pray whoever has forgotten you that must remember you, may they remember their wrong. And may they correct it. Every anointing and every grace that God preordained that should be resting upon your life, your ministry right now, and by some activity of darkness, it has not yet touched your head. I declare, may that unction rest on you now. May that unction rest on you now. May that unction rest on you now. Remember what I taught you about words. Never forget, words are trains. God is serving you something. He's only using words. Are you ready to receive the prayer of favor again? Don't say you have said it before. Remember that they build and they prosper through the prophesying. Not once. Jesus, your Jesus, touched the eyes of a man. And he said, what do you see? This is the word touching a man's eyes. He said, I'm seeing, but I see men like trees. Jesus said, nonsense. He touched his eyes again. And he saw men clearly. If he, if he was left like that, listen, we want, to, we want to destroy the spirit 
that are bought complete miracles. So the miracle starts in your life but never finishes. Have you seen people like that? It starts in your life but never finishes. In the name of Jesus. Because according to scripture, if the hand of Zerubbabel starts a thing, that hand should complete it. I'm praying right now. Every miracle that has started, when Elijah saw the rain like the fist of a man's hand, it didn't stop as a fist. It became an abundance of rain. Therefore, I declare, what you have seen like the fist of a man's hand, it must come to completion in your life. It must come to completion in your life. 